you have a situation where then in the 90s we had a window where one might reasonably assume arms expenditures worldwide would drop with the end of the Cold War. And while we made some cuts here, we're still spending an extraordinary amount. And we, you know, obviously the war on terror accounts for some of that, but so does some of the bellicosity. I would say, you know, in, in the Ukraine Russia situation contributes to a national mood that says we want to spend more. And in the meantime, you're saying the arms manufacturers, with the help of our government, Democratic and Republican, yeah. made up the difference by uh, entering these these new markets in the uh, in Eastern Europe and elsewhere, and in so doing, escalated tensions while they were escalating sales. And meanwhile, our government institutions were facilitating the yeah. sales. And now you're saying we might even offer... Uh, low-cost loans to Ukraine so that it can arm itself against Russia. Well, that's the goal, clearly. And they're not, they, again, they haven't been shy about this. If you read the newspapers carefully, you see that their Republicans have put in a bill and they've got 20-plus sponsors and so forth and so on. I mean, I think now we're at, in, only in the huffing and puffing stage in which it's a freebie for the Republicans to dump all over President Obama for not being more bellicose and they ingratiate themselves with all of the right people by by uh, doing that, and then they, you know, it's a it's like uh, playing a casino. If if they get the right set of bad events, some of this huffing and puffing will turn into real. And that's you know, you were there, you in your youth, you remember that's that's how we got into Vietnam. It's how we got into Korea. I mean, you could just all of the places we have wound up losing young Americans uh, started in pretty much the same way. And it's always comes down to the pride of the governing elites. Well, we have been challenged here. This man Putin isn't listening to us. We have to up the ante and do something more to show him how serious we are. And that's... Well, it's always... It's always fascinating to me, too, how the we're talking 